This is an AI light um, expanding light stand and overhead camera mount. Clamps to a table, lets you position your camera above some work. There's also a place you can put a camera or light directly on the top of the pole. Box here says TS61. So this was sent to me to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it's going to cost you $50. They have not paid me for my review, so my opinions remain my own. All right, so in the box, you have a manual, and you have a box here, which I assume has the clamp on it. So there's the table clamp. There's also a clamp here that has a quarter by 20 um, thread on it, and then this guy here, which clamps into a cylinder. And you have two arms. So this arm here is the upright. It screws into this clamp here. And that's what's going to clamp to your table. This guy here will screw in like that. And this guy clamps onto these arms, but it says in the manual you can't clamp it to the bottom arm. So the minimum distance from the bottom of your table to this clamp arm is this second tube here. And to get it on there, this guy comes all the way off and so you can basically put this over and then this guy goes on and it will clamp it down there and it will do it to either this tube here or you can extend this tube here so you can put it out to here. Now the top of this guy also has a little ball head quarter by 20 on it as well. So the tubes are aluminum. This thing here is plastic and it has a big hefty clamp here. That clamp bit is steel. Um, it is, it looks to be, I'm not sure if it's painted or powder coated. It might be a thick paint, might be a thin powder coat. Um, and it has here this rotating clamp. It'll go up to almost two inches. I think it's like 1.97 inches. And there is rubber, thin rubber on both faces of the top of the clamp and this guy here to protect your table from being marred when it's clamped on there. So this clamp has enough reach, even if your table has a little curve like that, it'll still clamp on pretty well. All right, this is set up with this guy at the lowest possible point, and so your camera is basically going to be a foot above the table at this low point. Now I do have this arm extended all the way. This is kind of the minimal extension you can get there. You know, so we're talking about 13 inches from this post to the base of your camera. Um, it does have a ball head here, and so you can rotate this way all the way. This will rotate around, and so you can position in different angles as you need to. Um, there's also a similar ball head up here, so you could put a camera up here, or you could put a light up here shining on things. And you can, of course, take this post off entirely, um, and so you can use just this post by itself. Now, if I extend... this guy all the way up. Now we're talking about the highest point you can get this at. Um, this is basically the highest you can get. And so your camera here is about 30, 31 inches off the table. So that's kind of the highest point that you're looking at. And this is the furthest extension. You can you know, move this, that amount there. So this is a three foot table, and assuming your camera extends just slightly past this, you can easily do two feet or a little more there. So if I wanted to center this, I would actually have to slide it in just slightly to center it. So if you have you know, a three foot wide table, this guy will easily get to the center of that table. So this table here is almost four feet, like 47 and a half. And you can see the center point of this camera will be right in the center there. So right here, it's kind of hitting where this light is, so I'm either going to have to adjust the light a little bit, or potentially I could lower this down some. I could even move it in, and then if I wanted to, I could adjust the angle a little bit like so. So it's 
pretty um, flexible that way. I could also just lower this entire section if I didn't want to use that section, um, you know, so I could position this in various different places. Or, of course, I could put the camera right on this guy. Now, when it's not in use, I can kind of fold it back like this. Or, if I really wanted to, I could take this guy off and store that separately. Um, I could even unscrew this guy. and leave nothing but the clamp on the table, although at that point I think I might just undo the clamp and take the whole thing away. So this arm here is rated at eight pounds. That arm there is rated at two pounds. Um, you know, and so if you put a heavier DSLR on it, when you let go of it, it does sink an inch or two, so you're going to have to adjust your aim point after the weight is on there to sink it. I feel pretty confident that it can hold that weight. Now with the weight up there, if you bump it, it's going to wiggle and that vibration goes on for a while and so your table will need to be somewhat steady and you'll need to let this thing settle otherwise your video is going to shake around a little bit so if you have a lightweight camera that's not going to be as much of an issue okay i'm pretty happy with this as an over the table kind of overhead camera mount um, the only point that I have at all any hesitancy about is this particular joint here. Um, and that's just because it's plastic. Um, it has a nice design where there's this rotating threads, you know, the double threads here that go through there. So it clamps the cylindrical posts and it can clamp different size posts. So you can clamp it on the middle or the, or the big one here. Um, it'd be kind of nice if it was sized enough that you could go to the bottom one. But realistically, you're probably not going to try to mount your camera that low anyways. Um, so the plastic feels very strong and heavy duty plastic. It's not quite kind of like, you know, nylon fiber reinforced plastic feeling, you know, because I can bend these and they bend in a little bit. Um, but it feels relatively strong. But if I had, you know, but everything else here, you know, the metal ball heads, the aluminum tubes are, are extremely strong. If I had to point to the weakest point on this product, I would say it's that joint right there. Um, now with the two pound weight rating, I don't think that's gonna be an issue, but just keep in mind that you know, this particular joint here is where I think most of your stress is, and so it's critical that that joint works correctly, because if that breaks, this arm falls off with your camera on it. So at this price point, I think it's a pretty good offering. I plan on using this if I need an overhead camera.